What is going on guys? It is Joe talking about the Kansas State Wildcats fresh off a win over South Dakota, a big one in tonight's game. Big performances from a couple of players we'll talk about. We're jumping back to the basketball side of things as you can tell by my Keontae Johnson, Charlie Hustle shirt. They're not sponsored the video, but shout out Charlie Hustle. They have incredible stuff and they make great stuff. So in that sense, check it out. Free promo, I guess, in this case. We got a lot of great things to talk about in today's video, but before we do, let me tell you this. It is 1233 in the morning right now. It's late. I've been working. I've been doing whatever. It is 1233, so it's a little late. If I'm quieter in this video, give me the benefit of the doubt. If you don't notice anything, then, you know, great. That's perfect. Also, shout out the mustache real quick because I said back in the Oklahoma State video talking about the football team, if we all shave and go down to mustaches, we'll win a Big 12 title. I apologize for corrupting No Shave November, but it's game time, okay? We need it. So, guys, we do have a lot of great performances in this game to talk about. We've got Cam Carter, Tyler Perry, some big performances. Will McNair we'll talk about, RJ Jones. we got a lot of people to talk about. But before I do, let me talk to you about one of my favorite groups of people of all time, Manhattan Brewing Company. They have some of the best beer around, and there is nothing better to quench your thirst than after a big win, before a big win, or really any time you are thirsty, even when you're not thirsty. Go and drink a Tang Party. Manhattan Brewing Company has a ton of great beers. They offer a wide selection. You can all check it out. Another underrated thing about the group, like, they do so many different theme nights and specialty nights where if, if you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's a Thursday. I don't know what I'm doing. How about this Thursday, Friendsgiving? I'll give you the details because I've got them pulled up here on the side. They do different theme nights occasionally on each week and have things that are going on. Like today, I know today for me is Monday, technically Tuesday. Tuesday, as you're seeing this video, they got Taco Tuesday going down. Grab food from El Patron. Personally, grab the enchiladas if you're a real one, you know. Get a dollar off margaritas at Manhattan Brewing Company. Thursday, they've got Friendsgiving in the alley. Go check it out. Go be a friend and drink an ice-cold beer from Manhattan Brewing Company. They're the best friends of all. And Manhattan Brewing Company makes the best beer of all, Tang Party. There's a lot more options, but I tell you what, selfishly, I'm a Tang Party guy. So shout out Manhattan Brewing Company. One more person to shout out here real quick. Let me give a quick shout out to my guy, Nebraska Cat fan, Dan Ozzy. Donated on the last video, sent the donation in. And I'm not entirely sure how donations work on YouTube, so fair warning on that one. I know that something was Super Chat, Super Thanks, whatever it is. I don't know how the whole process works, but I do appreciate it. If you're interested in donating to the channel, I don't know if many people know how the whole Super Thanks thing works. I don't fully know about it myself. So if you're interested, I will list my Venmo or my Cash App in the description. Please don't feel like you have to donate. I'm just saying, if you want to support the channel in any way, you totally can. Don't feel like you have to. Talking about Kansas State basketball now, thank you for paying attention. We had some great performances from Tyler Perry, Cam Carter, Will McNair. You know, you had a ton of people that showed up. RJ Jones was great. How about this, guys? I'll tell you this real quick. One, Cam Carter is an absolute dog. He's an absolute beast. He's whatever animal you want to equate to Cam Carter. That's who he is. The dude is a beast, man. That guy is so good at basketball. Sometimes it's easy to overreact to basketball and try to say, well, does the matchup favor you? Does the team favor you? Does this favor you? Is this defensive? Is this offensive? Sometimes it's easy to say, we have the best player on the court and he is going to be the best player. That's what Cam Carter was. Cam Carter went out there and was unguardable. But not only that, because 25 points, new career high, that is Cam Carter. How about the defensive prowess? Going after the reigning player of the year at South Dakota, a team that finished first in their league is picked to finish first again. Those dudes have a great player. Dude from Lawrence High, I don't know I don't know if it's Lawrence Free State or the other Lawrence High School. I apologize if there's any Lawrence people in here. Don't crucify me for that one. The dude averaged 28 a game so far. I know it's only been two games, but he went 28 and 28 in the first two games. Odds are the kid can score. Cam Carter holds him to 11 points. And let me tell you this, guys, even more. Shout out to the fans in attendance. How about that? Chanting airball, chanting whatever they wanted to chant. The dude made the mistake of taunting the crowd. Why do you do that at K-State game? I don't know, but... That's a decision. People make decisions. Sometimes they're not the right ones. The fans absolutely affected that game. As element on the and one after someone fouled, I don't know if it was Cam Carter or Tyler Perry, one of the two. Could have also been one of the freshman guys. How about the fans screaming their heads off, chanting airball after back-to-back airballs? Guy goes to the free throw line, whiffs the free throw. I mean, he hits the rim, but it wasn't in. The fans affected that game 100%. For every player on the court, Kansas State fans are taking that top off the defense every single time in football and basketball and volleyball. You feel the home court environment, and I am so thrilled to see that, guys. It's been incredible. I've kind of finished my rant on Cam. I'll give you this. The dude's an NBA player. The jump he made from last year to this year, it's incredible. Cam Carter is one of the best basketball players in the Big 12, and he will be this season. 100%. That dude can play basketball. Averaging 19 points a game now, heading in after three games. Shout out John Rothstein for even mentioning the Cam Carter buzz and all the great offseason stuff he's done. Cam Carter is a player to watch in the Big 12 Player of the Year conversation. That's where we're at with Cam as a junior. That dude is leveled up, and he will continue to level up under Jerome Tang, or if he goes to the NBA route, whatever Cam wants to do, he can do. And maybe that's some of the Marquise Noel influence. Maybe that's some of the Coach Tang influence. Maybe it's just Cam Carter going about his work. 
But you can't sit there and tell me that a guy putting in work every single day for the better part of a year doesn't result in this. You see guys make jumps up 5 points, 6 points. Cam Carter has jumped, what, 13 points? He's one of the best players in the country right now. I know it's only been three games. Take that with a grain of salt. Take that with a grain of salt. Cam Carter is a stud. He's a scorer. He's a playmaker. That dude's going to keep rolling, and I'm so thrilled for him as a person, as a player, and as a representative of Kansas State. Cam Carter deserves it. Moving on to Mr. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, for some reason, got a lot of crap after the first two games from people being like, well, he didn't have very efficient shooting. Though. It's, he scored 22 points against USC. He had 7-7 and seven, or whatever he had at 7-6. and 22-7-6. and six. That's a good night. Guy goes out there in the overseas tour in 21 minutes, but puts up 33 points going, what, 8 of 9 from 3? This was similar to that. Tyler Perry goes out there and absolutely cleans up. Dude is just splashing the ball from everywhere. And I'll tell you this, credit to Coach Tang, credit to Dream Dallin, whoever came up with the idea. The idea to start day-day aims at the point guard position so he can control the game, do his own thing. He had a quiet day in terms of scoring. Seven assists for a true freshman kid who kind of managed the game the entire time. Great job for day-day. That allows a guy like Tyler Perry just to score, just to be himself, just to play how he wants to without having to think about everything all the time. That's what you want out of a guy like Tyler Perry. That was an underrated decision by Coach Tang. Shout out to everybody involved in that because that was a smart idea to not, not take the game out of Tyler Perry's hands. It's not what they're doing, but you're giving him more in a different way. You know, it's a different platter than you're giving him the pre- previous two weeks. This whole team is learning to work together. They're figuring it out. And this is without Arthur Kluma, without Quez Glover, without Naquan Tomlin. We'll see what happens there. You have some guys stepping up, and I've talked about it in the channel, and I'm going to pat myself on the back for this. RJ Popeye Jones, bro, shout out Google for calling him Popeye Jones and not changing it at all. They're, they're rolling with Popeye Jones. That is RJ Jones. So either way, RJ is now Popeye, and it's, he, nothing he could do can change that. So he is RJ Popeye Jones until we learn more about RJ, and if he's like, yeah, I hate that. So I assume that one's catching on. RJ Jones shoots the ball like Nigel Pack but in his own way. The form is similar. It is so pretty, so calculated. RJ Jones can shoot that basketball. What I'm excited about, man, is seeing his smile, seeing the energy. Like, shout out to a buddy of mine, Adam Tripp. We talked uh, on the Mobcast tonight. We recorded it. It'll come live here in a couple of days or whenever we get it up. I'll tweet about it so you guys can see it in that sense. If you follow me on Twitter, quick self-plug. Adam talked about how good it was seeing this team play with energy and have fun with the game. That's what basketball is, man. We're playing a kid's game and we all love a kid's game. Having fun, enjoying the moment, playing basketball carefree, but also still understanding what you're doing, that's what you want. That's what you see out of R.J. Jones. That's what you see out of Day-Day Ames, Tyler Perry, Cam Carter. Cam Carter's and one that the South Dakota dude just tipped in for him, and then Cam's got the biggest, cheesiest grin. Those are the moments you want to see. Those are absolutely huge. Awesome moments to see. Next thing here. Most threes ever made under Jerome Tang at Kansas State. I know it's only been two years or a year and some change, but think about the three-point shoot, three shooters you had last year. Keontae Johnson can hit multiple threes. He shot 40% from the field. You get it like Marquise Noel can shoot from, you know what, the other, team's, the other team's free throw line going that way. He can shoot from anywhere on the court. The most threes made in a game, even over a game where you shoot 116, you put up 116 points against Texas, this team already passed that. Most threes made. So everybody's saying that this isn't a good shooting team. That's not the case. This team can shoot the basketball. Will they live and die by the threes? Yes, to an extent, but they got a lot of paint touches, and that's what we'll tie in here next. Will McNair Jr., this was a good day for him. He started to play in the offense a little bit more. He understood when he's making better plays. He's passing to the right guys, doing the right thing. You see a little bit of that moment where he can kind of result to that, hey, down low, we need a guy who can go score. He's on the low block. He can turn, have a right fade, whatever you want to do. He's a playmaker at multiple levels. That's going to change a little bit. Obviously, it's going to be a... You know, it's going to be sparing when you need a guy that's going to have to take over the game on a low block. I don't think Coach Tang will need that a ton, but having that in your back pocket is awesome to see. Will McNair, most deflections I've seen in the first half. I mean, the guy looked like a guard where he's just getting his hand up, hands on passes left and right. Keontae did that. Cam Carter did that. Desi Sills is a great example. There's some weird parallels with Desi Sills, even though they're two different players, two different sizes, two different positions. That's a thing. There is some energy with Will McNair when he's playing peak basketball, and we haven't seen it yet. Don't get me wrong. We haven't seen it yet. This was a great day. That energy is there, and he's going to be a fan favorite very soon. Also, when we're talking about fan favorites, every one of you knows who I'm going to talk about. McCaleb Buddy Rich. That dude's incredible. What a, what a dynamic human being. What a dynamic athlete. That dude can play the game of basketball and jump and touch the top of the backboard flat-footed and then yam on somebody's head. That's what this dude can do. When I watched his high school highlights, I think I talked about it on the channel. Maybe this was this might have been before I started the channel, so I apologize for not getting McCaleb's highlights in there yet. The dude was bigger, stronger, faster, could jump higher and play better than everybody on the court. That's high school. I get that. A lot of guys are like that. 
Then you get to K-State. Then you work with Phil Byer. And you see the strength. You see the work. That's the reason that Cam Carter, not the full reason, but that's a part of the reason Cam Carter has like a 40-inch vert now out of nowhere where he had maybe, you know, 28 last year. We could still dunk the basketball, but now he's flying through the air, floating through the air. He's got the bunnies. Michaela Bridge. We haven't seen anything yet. Words from Cam Carter. Words from Tyler Perry. We haven't seen anything yet. What that tells me is, is it means he has a 720 dunk in his arsenal. An underrated thing about Michaela Bridge that won't, you know, it won't be represented in every game, but you'll see it occasionally. The dude knows where the basketball is going to be when it hits the rim, wherever it's at. If it's up in the air, he knows where to track it. And that's an underrated skill that not every guy has. I mean, it's not just to say that some guys don't know where the basketball is going or whatever you want to say, but Michaela Rich has an uncanny ability to be where the basketball is at. That's an incredible skill to have, especially when you're built like a Zion Williamson. Obviously, you're 6'6", 240 is a true freshman in college. That's ridiculous. And we're going to hear... So many of the white dad cliches of like, wow, if that guy wanted to take the break and, you know, go over and play tight end for uh, Chris Clement, I bet they'd like that. We've already heard a ton of those already. It's been three games. We've heard a ton of those. We heard that with Keontae all last year. Brace yourselves because it's coming back with Buddy Rich. Buddy, big and rich. Buddy Rich. What a dude. Absolutely excited. Buddy the Elf. Any nickname you need to give this kid, if he keeps posterizing people from the free throw line, from what feels like the free throw line, that's going to be a good day. Excitement is in the air with Kansas State basketball. Let me see if I had anything else for you. Oh, I want to give you the specific stat. I don't think I've said it yet. On the Tyler Perry thing, guy has shot 14 of 29 from three this season. If you do the math, that's 48% from three. That's ridiculous. The dude guaranteed to me at Big 12 Media Days that he's breaking the K-State three-point record. I believe him. 100% I believe him. I think it's 110, 112, 119. Neither him or I was right keyed in on it. So he knew closer than I did, but check that out. So that's going to be something to follow for sure. It's an exciting time to be a K-State basketball player. It's an exciting time to be a K-State fan, to be a coach, whatever you want to say. I am so thrilled to see these freshmen develop, to see the players develop, get guys healthy, get Arthur Kaluma back, get Quez Glover back. We got a lot to talk about, my friends. I promise you that. But let me get you out of here by saying this. If you enjoy Kansas State videos, go ahead and consider subscribing. I talk about K-State each and every week, depending on what happens. And we'll do some more of these post-game comments. One more time, shout out to Manhattan Brewing Company for sponsoring this video, as well as my friend Nebraska Cat fan Dan Ozzie. I always appreciate the donations, and it does help a lot. Especially being a college kid fresh out of college, it definitely helps. Not saying you have to, but it does help, and I do appreciate it. So whenever you guys want to check out any videos, I should have stuff. This is the month where I will have so much stuff going on. In terms of K-State football, K-State basketball. Not like I won't make videos, but I mean like basketball, football, basketball, football, basketball, basketball, football. Until From now until middle of December, it's going to be an exciting time, my friend. So stay tuned, stay posted. I appreciate you, each and every single one of you, interacting with the content, sharing the content. Thank you each and every day. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Go Cats!